so we have now completed the standard purchase order we, we had a problem that uh, the accrual account was missing and so uh, it uh, it didn't approve so then we went to the manage mapping set and then added the account for the accrual accrual is a liability account so 1001 is a liability account which i used for accrual and remember yeah tell me yeah. somebody was speaking to me okay very good <clears throat> uh so we are now given the accrual account and though naturally uh, uh that has allowed us to validate the purchase order the validation is available only on the purchase order and not on the requisition section now we go for the next one called contract purchase agreement we are now going to go for a contract purchase agreement so let me share it now so we are now going to create a contract purchase agreement let me go to the procurement and then i go to the purchase agreements purchase agreements or purchase orders both are one and the same only it will be landing up in the same area same screen it will not land up in. whether you click on the purchase orders or agreement now going to go on and land up on the same area so click on it now Just click on the task cursor and then here i will now go on and click on create agreement now i am now going to create an agreement I'll click on it now and we are creating a agreement so the type is what you drop down and then we are going to make it as what <coughs> contract purchase agreement now contract purchase agreement the one so click on it and then we will now create a contract purchase agreement i will now put the supplier only supplier is g01 then sub one this is supplier on which i am now going to make a contract purchase agreement now. click on create so what exactly is a contract agreement let us say the supplier is now supplying a lot of stationeries he is supplying pen pencil sharpener eraser paper etc etc some 50 different items he is supplying so whatever he supplies it will be governed by a terms and conditions section they are going to govern this by a terms and conditions so a contract purchase agreement will not have any item at all it will not be having any item and click on create now so whereas the spo the standard purchase order will be having an item whereas the contract purchase agreement will not have any item at all so we go on and create a contract purchase agreement and go there go down so it's not getting created i will now say how much we are going to agree upon let us say i am now going to agree upon for 1000 us dollars right and then the supplier is saying that unless otherwise you give a order for at least 50 dollars i cannot supply at all so he is now giving you a what's called a minimum release amount so it will be followed by a standard purchase order a contract agreement will not have any item and then it will be followed by a standard purchase order so a cpa will be followed by an spo and every spo for must be at least for 50 dollars otherwise in tamil we say sundaka kaapanam somakoli mukapanam that means what the carrying cost is more than the order cost so he will not be able to supply the truck or the loading cost and then carrying cost everything is, if it is a very heavy he will get a very minimal profit so give me at least a spo for 50 dollars so this is a supplier's restriction actually if you don't have any restriction you can even leave it as a blank <coughs> if the supplier has not provided any restriction the mr the minimum release amount can be kept left as blank i will now say what exactly it is first cp contract purchase agreement and then here the terms are the one which are really very important so i will not say whether you require any acknowledgement or not i'll not say on the document or none no fine normally we will not keep it as a we don't want any acknowledgement at all only so we if we put it then we have to get an acknowledgement within the certain days so payment terms is immediate that means what immediately has to pay and then there are multiple payment terms are there if you click on search now fine everything is available because we are not create any payment terms in our rds now so this is the only one available i got it and then shipping method we are given the dhl yeah it now comes as default from your your configure procurement business function we are given the shipping method similarly the freight terms is now coming from this place fob the free up to what point it is going to be free now and drop it down so there are multiple points we, you can even create the fobs and then you can populate it over here right requires signature then the case what happens he has to sign on this one so once when you sign on it then only what happens the purchase order becomes eligible for the receipt actually right 
So we have a, a application called DocuSign. So we can even integrate the DocuSign along with the Fusion. And so Fusion will be sending information to DocuSign. And then through DocuSign, we can now register suppliers of management or his signature. And then afterwards, we can start the resume. So there are certain things. So procurement contracts also can have a DocuSign the, uh, signature. And then similarly, purchase orders also can have a DocuSign signature. Whether is a buyer managing the transportation or not, whether we are going to manage it or he is going to do it now. If you do it, then we only have to manage it. Whether it is a confirming order or not. Yesterday, I talked to the supplier over telephone that I am now going to give you a CPA. No? I am now going to give you a CPA. So today, I made the order. It is nothing but a confirmation of my verbal order. No? If you click on it, then what happens? The supplier should not take yesterday also one order, today also one order. So it is just for information that is just a confirming order of a verbal order. So it is only for information. So these are the terms which are going to be governed. And then whatever we make, what happens, it will be getting reflected on the SPO. When I create SPO, these terms will be copied into the SPO actually. Because the, the SPO, the standard purchase order is going to reference this contract actually. And that's it. I will now go to the notes and attachments. I will go to the notes and attachments. So I will now say <coughs> something on this now. I will now go to the notes and attachments. <coughs> Uh, we will now ask him what happens a note to supplier right provide warranty certificates of for every item so i am asking him to provide a warranty certificate for every item and then i will now say note to receiver fine <clears throat> check for upright delivery if it comes ulta pulta don't accept it also so note to receiver i am writing Check for upright delivery. And then I may even attach certain documents on this place. Now. I click on attachments. Let me have an attachment. <clears throat> I'm going to make an attachment now. So this document will be communicated to the supplier actually. I will now say category. I will now go there. I will now say to supplier actually. To supplier. So it will be to supplier. And choose a file. Let me choose some file over there now. Uh, I will now go there. I will now choose uh, some file. I will now instance for practice. I am now choosing this one. Some file will be doing. I will now say, uh, for easy understanding, I will now say here, it is a uh, CPA attachment. I will now make a change now. So I now make it as a CPA attachment. I will now say <coughs> CPA attach description. So I have not attached it, and then it will be, this will be sent to the supplier upon placement of order, actually. So in this place, I am now giving a CPA attachment, and then a note receiver, and then a note also. On the notes and attachments. So they are the thing which are now done now. Fine, go to the terms now, fine, that's it. <clears throat> okay. So it will not have any item at all. We will now say, for these terms, fine, he is now, we are now agreeing with him that I will now place 1,000 rupees, 1,000 dollars worth of order. Fine. He, he may say, sir, 1,000 dollars means what? I can send only by bullock cart and not by air at all. So why don't you change it to 5,000? So he will now say, 5,000 means what? It will be normally be governed with eight. Now. So he will now say, from today onwards, for next three months, now, right? we'll now put an end date. Now. So we'll now we'll go there, May, I don't know, August or something like that. So between these two days, I'm now going to say, I will now release, let us say, $1,000 worth of orders I'm going to give it to you as a SPO. And then you supply by air. Actually. He says, not possible, sir. If you're going to give for this, this, this much of, within this much of a days, if you're going to make it as 5,000, then it's okay. So this is where the negotiation will not take place between the supplier and the purchase officer. And then finally, the amount agreed and then the terms are basically negotiated. So a, a CPO will be referenced on a, <coughs> a SPO now. A CPA will be referenced on a SPO. And then if these are then okay, then it's fine. So save. That's it. So the CPA is created along with all the attachments. Now. So we have what you are, you are now asking of uh, warranty certificate, and then check for upgrade delivery, and then a CPA attachment is also made. <clears throat> so let us go to actions and then go to validate, and then see whether it is all valid or not. The document is valid or not. So we are going to see there are no errors found on this one. Okay, that's it. So it is not done. So we are now completed what the CPA validation. Now let us now. Click on the manage approvals and then we are going to see. But who are all the people who are going to approve it? So this is an application developer. 
because we have now configured as an automatic approval. So the person, application developer, is a person who has created the uh, uh, CPA. So he himself has to approve. No, fine, no problem at all. So we'll now go there, give cancel, and then have a look at it. No, fine, that's all okay. So let me submit for approval. Fine, everything is okay. So the status is in an incomplete status. Fine, click on submit by which the 3000 CPA is now submitted for approval. The document has been submitted for approval. We'll now go on and wait for a thing to approve. Fine, click on again on it. And then go to the manage agreements and then query for the 3000 now. Agreement number is 3000. <coughs> and then click on search now. So you'll now find the agreement coming up over there now. He is the employee who has created now. No problem at all. So you go there and then have a query. So it says that what? It is now pending approval. If you click on the hyperlink on the status now, it will not show you what exactly now. This guy has approved. The task is about to be getting completed. Fine. That's it. Okay. Fine. He has approved. And then they, well, click on done now. Fine. So it is now getting approved. And then if you again research it, then it will now become open. Now. The moment it becomes open, it will not be, there will, the hyperlink will go away you now. There is no hyperlink. The hyperlink is there, but it's okay. Fine. Uh, <clears throat> if you click on the open now, you will not see what exactly this comes from. It shows you the document history. Actually. Fine. What are the, who are the people who are approved on it? Now? Fine. If you click on the, what's called uh, hyperlink on the document, <coughs> 3000, and then you can now see the document. Now. Okay. So go to the actions and then go to view document history also will see you now, fine. If you make a change, the changes can be seen. We can even change the revision of so many other from communication. There. We can even communicate to the supplier by email, actually. So we already given an email. So that email also we can communicate now. So if you click on the view that document history, you cannot view what all what other things will happen. So that's it. Fine, go there. If you give it done, you can now say the document has got what? An attachment as well as a notes also. If you click on the notes, and notes exist for this one, it says that provide warranty certificate, check for operate delivery. So we have a note for supplier as well as a receiver. And then we have an attachment also. If you click on the attachment, it will now show you what exactly is an attachment now. <clears throat> okay, it's not showing you. We are unable, yeah, it's not showing you. Okay, right? It's not showing you the attachment also. What has been attached over here? So now we are now going to create a demand. We are going to demand. It. So I'm now going to place a purchase order on this supplier actually. So he is governed by the terms and conditions of air delivery. And then he has to provide warranty certificates. And then we have now given attachment also. So based upon this, what happens? Yeah, requisition will be created. Requisitioning is a start point of a demand fine. Click on it, close now. Is three thousand is the one. Now let us go there and then create a requisition for this. I will now go to the home icon. Here itself we have the purchase requisition of fine. Everything is coming in the top. Otherwise, you click on the home icon and then here you go to the procurement and then you go to the purchase requisition. Fine, go there. We are now going to create a requisition. Purchase requisition we are going to create now. So go there, click on the more task, and then go to the enter, enter requisition lines, enter in now. <coughs> Cannot wait to get requisition. Requisition is nothing but a demand. So the demand will be originated with the mechanical department, chemical department, operations department. So many user departments will be asking for material. So whenever they ask, the demand is now getting created. Here I go there, I will now put G01. I will now say item one. We'll now go there. He wants around 15 quantities. 15 quantities he needs. And then go there. It says where exactly you have to deliver or the delivery address, everything. We are now giving it. The requester is now giving, putting everything. Fine. The charge account is coming automatically over here because we already specified in the manage mapping set actually. It has to come now. And now I will now say contract. The, it is now governed by the contract. Fine. Go there. Click on it. I will now put the 3000 contract number. We are now going to give a contract number. Fine. Go there. So the agreement type is coming, the agreement number is coming. In case if it is not coming in your system, uh, you talk to me, I will tell you about how to bring it in now. Right? You, are, you are not getting the source organization uh, and then the source type, uh, or these fields, if any of the fields are not coming in this, how to bring in the fields, I will now conduct a training for you. <clears throat> okay, if it's not coming, you tell me. So I now put the agreement number over here, agreement type and then the agreement number. So. Automatically, when I put 3000, the 3000 is governed for this supplier. And then it's Madras site. And then the contact person on this village is Nana Ananta. And his last name from our first name. And the so we will now add to cart. Now. So 15 quantities are now requested. And then we are now made a reference to the CPA. So the PR is now referencing a CPA actually. <coughs> PR CPA reference is now coming. So click on add to cart. And 15 quantities is there. Fine, go there, click on it. The other one, I will now remove it now. Fine, go there, click on it. I'm going to click on the hyperlink on this two one. And the two, four cheapo will now remove it now. Only 15 is there. And click on the review now. You are reviewing it. 
So while creating a requisition, the requester will not say, okay, fine, yeah. <clears throat> he will not say, uh, please provide two years pass. Two years normal working spares is required. And then he is also going to make an attachment over here. And the client, he will not make an attachment to the say, I will not say choose. It is not internal, it is to supplier only. So you can even make an attachment to many, many people actually. It's fine. If you go into the go to the purchase officer, then supplier will not get this attachment. So whomsoever you want, you can even make multiple attachments also. <clears throat> so I'm no he normally asks the supplier to supply and click on the choose file, and then you will know something else will not attach. You know that on it. So I will not put some other file, click on it now. I will not change the title of this now. I will not say it's a PR attach. So we have what? One CPA attachment is there, and then one PR attachment is there. PR is a purchase requisition. Attach description. So he may even make multiple such attachments over here. So click on plus 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 and then you can add multiple attachments. So he's saying that whatever this item is being done, it has to be governed by certain uh, things on this one. So the file is not attached. Okay, I click on okay. It is not that he will always attach, he may attach. The requester may attach certain things and then he may also ask some notes also. And then you can see in the bottom, the contract purchase agreement, the 3000 number is coming. It is to the supplier actually. <clears throat> now, uh, everything is now completed. Fine, go click on it. And then what I'm going to do is, I will now go and then save. Save. And then you can now look at the manager approvals. He is the only guy who is going to approve. 1003 is the requisition, which is for 15 quantities of this item. And he is the, he is the approver. Okay. We will now make a change on this number. So we are now made something. Let us now make it automatic now. Right click on the duplicate. So let us now make it as automatic now. <coughs> we are now going to somebody else. No plan. Based upon the thing. Go that click on it. Manage requisition approvals. I will now go there. Click on setup and maintenance. Click on it and then go to the search. And then I will now go to the manage. Uh, I will now go for manage. Uh, rec percentage. GPP percentage. So manage requisition of is the one kind of thing. So go there. And then click on it. And then here, I will now say, click on the edit. <coughs> click on the edit rules. I will now make it as automatic. And remember, the supplier has put a condition that every SPO referencing the CPA must be at least for 50 US dollars. In our case, it is not so. We are now requesting for 15 quantities now. <clears throat> so this is the one. So let me disable the other one now. Disable it. We'll have only one rule now. And I will now edit and make the condition. I will now remove the condition now. So I will now put rule always applies by which the condition gets removed now. I will now say approval required. I will now make it as automatic approval. I will make it as automatic. So that it will be getting approved. So there are six methods of approval. You have seen everything. The last one was not working. So that is the lab exercise for you. If it works for you, the position hierarchy, if it works for you, please tell me. So let me deploy it. So I think the other one has been disabled. No? The, other one. So the other one has been disabled actually. I click on deploy. So we are going to deploy it now. It will be automatic. <coughs> and remember, the supplier wanted every order to be at least for $50 now. So if you go there and then place, it is only for $45. Now. So he will not be able to supply now. So click on it. And then click on the manager approvals. Now it has to show me as what? <coughs> Application developer as the approver because we have now made it as automatic. So he has to approve it now. Application developer will be approving it now. You are hearing me? Can anybody uh, give a voice now? That my voice is clear for you. Yes, sir. You are audible. Okay, very good. Go back. Yes, sir. Okay. I will now click on submit by which what I'm on. The PR 1003 referencing 3000 is now getting approved. Now. Click on okay now. Wait for it. And then if you click on the hyperlink on the pending approval, you can now see what's happening. It's not it done now. If you open it up and then go inside now and then see, <coughs> it has to get approved now. So it's pending up over click on it. The first line is cancelled. The second line has got attachment also. So we have a PR attached as well as a PR node source. 
that he has asked for two years pass now and came on the pr pending approval so we have a pr notes also he has approved everybody has approved god jing jolly jolly mind for that click on done now it will be if you click on done there is no refresh button at all here so click on done now now it is approved now the purchase officer is now going to convert this into a cp into a spo now it is already referencing it now so what he will do is the purchase officer will now click on it okay? the, the requester has now given this requesting department or mechanical department electrical department like that and then the purchase order department is going to place the purchase order so the purchase officer will now click on the procurement and then he will now go to the purchase orders now and go to the purchase order he is going to convert this now so what he will do is he will now go that click on it he will now use the process requisition screen now he will now click on the process requisition he is going to process the requisition click on the process requisition so now it has come from the, the different 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 departments now process requisition is now on go that click on it he will now make a query here so if the requester has put he is the buyer then he will not put it otherwise you know remove the buyer <coughs> and then click on search now make a blank search also so you can even put this one fine put the bu over here now because one of the field is a mandatory field now fine double star means what if there are multiple double stars are there out of which one of them at least you have to make entry now and click on search now. so once you make a search it will be giving you that this is now there now, fine 1003 is there and then if you click on it the automation has failed actually when you want to convert this automatically into a po it has failed because the cpa do not have any uh, cpa has got only terms and conditions but it is not having any item and so the prices are not negotiated in the cpa fine the price at which he is going to supply the requester has put a price of 3 but what happens this purchase officer has to negotiate the price so the requisition line failed automation because the buyer could not be uh determined the buyer could not be determined okay there is a different thing but even if the buyer is there uh, then also what happens uh, the prices are not available the buyer could not be determined it's okay but there are some other errors that what happens uh, the cpa do not have any lines as well as the lines price is also not there like on because of which the automation will fail so what i will do is i will not manually he will not manually convert it select it and then he is going to manually convert the requisition into a spo now he will not select it and then he cannot see uh uh everything is there now on the way click on add to document builder he will now click on the add to document builder it will be coming on the right hand side now once when you click on the add to document builder the requisition will be coming onto the right hand side and go there it is now going to the next screen now fine here uh, you accept all these parameters you cannot provide the source agreement number at all if you go on and try to provide the source agreement number as 3000 so 3000 is not a valid number because it is not having any lines at all so you cannot have so the document which is having a line is a bpa blanket purchase agreement so cpa cannot be referenced on this area at all when you are adding to a document builder we cannot add a cpa over here so click on okay and the remaining are okay so accept all the other parameters and then you can now see this will be coming on the right hand side so everything has come over here now like what i will now click on create i am going to create it i am now going to create a spo fine a spo is going to be created for 40 us dollars 15 quantities at the price of 3 fine click on create it gets created <clears throat> so it will now be creating a spo now so spo gets created go there so the document 2001 is now created and you can see in the 2001 purchase order it is now referencing the requisition 1003 and then it is also referencing the agreement 3000 now there go down so it has got the attachment as well as the notes now Fine. If you click on the attachment, fine. Click on the attachment exists. If you click on it, on the line level there is an attachment now. It says what? Uh, this is a PR attachment as well as a CPA attachment. So both the attachments, the CPA was given by the purchase officer when he was creating a CPA. The PR was given by the requester. Now. So you can see both the attachments are coming up over here. So the PR attach as well as the CPA attach are coming over here now. If you click on the notes, if you click on the notes now, fine. Click on the notes. You can now see the note to supplier given by the requester actually. please provide two years pass right. is now coming so he the <coughs> the p the the uh, the purchase the request pr creator has given this note so that note is coming so the note given by the pr the requester the note as well as the attachment are coming the cp attachment are also coming. if you go to the schedules now right go that click on the schedules now right click on the schedules and then here you go there and then in this place if you go and then edit now right click on edit now. 
<coughs> it will not tell you about all the things. We will be coming to the schedule a bit later now. Then go back, click on it. And then here, we go down. Everything is there now. Fine, go back, click on it. And then the CPA, uh, what happens? The notes now. Fine, the CPA notes. I will not go to the distribution now. Fine, go back, click on the distribution now. CPA notes is not coming. CPA attachment is coming. Okay, it may be coming in this place. Now. Notes and attachments. If you go to the notes and attachments, maybe what happens? The CPA notes are coming. Provide a warranty certificate for this now and then check for upright delivery. Okay, fine. So on the purchase order, the CPA note to supplier as well as note to receiver are coming from the CPA itself now. CPA to SPO it is now getting copied. Whereas on the main lines, the attachments as a file, both the attachments are available here. And then the requester's notes is also coming here. And the notes and attachments, the purchase officer's note, supplier, note to supplier, note to receiver, which are mentioned on the CPA is now getting populated over here now. And go that way. And then while creating it, you may even create additional attachments also if required. So these are all the referenced one from the CPA. It is coming automatically. You may even change it also. And then you can even make additional attachments also to the supplier actually. And then the, uh, the two attachments and then one notes from CPA is also uh, one PR from this is also coming now. And so that's it. And go that way on it. So the one. So now, if I try to validate it, the uh, the supplier has told minimum fifty dollars. Give a save now. I will now go on then validate it. Go to the actions and then go to validate. It will now say push. It is not possible for you to submit for approval because supplier wants fifty dollars worth of material. So the demand is only for fifteen quantities. And then say the total amount released against the source agreement in this order is less than the required minimum release of amount of fifty. Right? I will not allow you to upload to what inside. So purchase officer will now increase the quantity, even though the demand is only for 15 quantities. We will now say RAR, we have to go at least for 17 quantities. Then only the supplier will now supply. So you know, making a chain now. So now it is more than 50 if I go that click on it. So just because supplier wanted it, even though there is a demand only for 15, you will now place an order for 17 quantities. You go to actions and then go to validate now. <coughs> there are no errors found. You will not submit for approval. <coughs> in the previous case, if I submit for error, the same error will be coming. So it is preferable to always go to actions and then validate before you submit for approval so that we can understand it now. And you will now have a look at the manager approvals. So this is the only approval over there now. You know that. Click on submit now. So submit it and go back to on it. It will be getting approved now. So the document purchase order was submitted for approval and 2001 will be getting approved. It will not have any problem at all. So go there. So uh, you will now go there, click on it, and then we will now go to what you manage orders now. And 2001 is the order. I will now go on and have a look at it now. 2001 is the order. Click on search. We are going to search for it. It will now show you this. <coughs> Not no open now. Fine, go there. So ordered amount is 51. Open means ordered is approved. We will now go on and refer the contract now. 3000 contract. I am going to make a refer now. Fine, go there. Click on it. Manage agreements is the one. I go there and then I will now query for the 3000 now. So we have agreed for 1,000 US dollars. All the SPOs put together cannot exceed 1,000. So 1,000 is the agreement amount. And then against which we have now made one release now. If you click on the release, it will not show you what is the release now. If I click on this 51, it will not show you the 2001 document actually. It will not show you the attachments also on the CPA. So $51, it will not show you the 2001 purchase order actually. This is the purchase order for the $51. Now, let us now create a, uh, another requisition wherein it is now going to exceed the thousand. So thousand is an agreement amount. Fine, go there. Click on it. Let us now create a purchase requisition for more than thousand. Now, fine, go there. Click on it. I'll now click on the more task and then click on the enter requisition lines. So fifty one is already released. We'll now go there. We will not put any other item. When CPA is governed by any item, now. I'll now put the desktop over here. That was item one. Fine, go there. Click on it. I will now go for thousand quantities now. Go there. It's three. Uh, three thousand is the value now. So the total value is 3,000. Let me reference the agreement now. If you don't reference the agreement, the agreements, the reference will not come into picture. Fine, go that you want it. He's not referencing the agreement. Go that you want it. So 1,000 quantities into 3, 3,000 is the 1. So 51 is released. And then 949 can only be released now against the CPA. Fine, go that. Click on add to court. I am not adding it to court. And go that click on it. I will not go there. I will not submit for approval. So other things also can be done. So you can even add attachment, everything, except, except, I can do it now. I'm not doing it. I will not submit for approval now. So 1004 is now referencing the same CPA. You cannot see the CPA number coming up on the bottom now. Go there, click on submit. So it is now approved. 
<clears throat> now let us go to the purchase officer now go to the process requisition we will now go to the phase he will now go to the purchase orders now fine click on the purchase orders he will now go to the process requisition then he is going to process the 1400 now click on process requisition he is now going to pick it up now so you can even put the requisition number over here otherwise he will now make a blank search now fine if you make a blank search double it and click on the blank search so the moment you make a blank search okay some of them is a mandatory one fine i will not put the gu b you know because out of six what the meaning of that so it is again showing you the fine order so select it and then Add to document builder, <clears throat> and then click on OK now. So we are doing it now. Fine, go there. Click on it. So we will now create a PO now. Fine, click on create PO. And this time, when you go to validate, it will now say, "Are you are thousand to exceed row? Chuka hai." Click on it now. Fine, go there. Click on it. So we have got what happens is the one is <clears throat> the total amount on this now. Fine, go there. Click on actions to validate. <clears throat> we will now say, "Do me." I will not do it. The order will cause the total amount released against the agreement three thousand to exceed the amount limit actually. So we are given amount agreed. The amount agreed gets internally copied into amount limit, and so it is now exceeding it actually. So it will be having an internal field of field called amount limit. Amount agreed gets copied into amount limit. If you submit for it, if you click on two thousand two submit for it, what up? Onga, I will not do it at all. Fine, that's what to say. Fine, it's not okay now. Fine. So two thousand two cannot be agreed. So what you have to do is we have to enhance it. I mean, you have to cancel now. So the purchase of visa will not talk to the management. Sir, thousand is not sufficient. You will not go to the manager agreements. We will not query for it now. Fine, go there. Click on it. So three thousand is now going to query now. Fine, click on search now. We will be getting it. He is now going to edit it. So we'll select it. And then I will not click on the hyperlink. Hyperlink is only for view now. If you click on the hyperlink, we will not only view it. <coughs> we cannot do anything at all. So what he will do is he will now edit the log. Select it and then go to actions and then go to edit now. So he is going to edit the CPA now. Fine, click on it now. Fine, it will now create a change order now. Because we are now making a change now. Fine, click on it. Fine, go <clears throat> and then we have to give the reasoning for the change. Actually, fine. Change order number one is now coming. Fine. I will now say enhancement. Enhancement of amount agreed. Now, fine. Uh, uh, amount limit. Now. It is amount limit actually. The amount agreed column gets copied into amount limit internally. So <coughs> system will be referring only the amount limit and not the amount agreed. Fine, go there. So the release amount is this now. Fine, go there. Click on it. So what he will do is he will now make it as four thousand. After getting the proper approvals from everybody, he will now say, okay. Now against the CPA, we can make a release up to four thousand. Management has stopped. Fine, go there. Save it now. He will now submit it to his boss for approval. In this case, he is only going to approve. So his boss is not going. We are now made an automatic approval. Fine, go there. Four thousand one is there. Fine, click on submit now. So it is now submitted. Fine, go there. Click on it and then wait for the thing. Fine, click on search now. Again, if you search for it, you can say a yeah, change order is pending now. If you click on the icon, I icon, it says the change order is pending. Change order one is created for enhancement of amount agreed to four thousand to four thousand. That gets copied into amount limit. Amount limit is the ultimate one which will be controlling the uh, what happens the releases actually. So all the releases are controlled by. So all cumulative SPOs referencing the CPA. I will again repeat now. All cumulative SPOs referencing the CPA cannot exceed the amount limit of CPA actually. The amount, amount, agreed amount gets copied internally into a field called amount agree, agreement uh, limit now, so it cannot exceed. Again, I will repeat: <coughs> all cumulative SPOs referencing the agreement cannot exceed the amount limit of a CP actually. What is? Fine, go there. So we'll again query for it now. Fine, go there. Click on it. You just note down. You again run the video and then note it down now. Fine. All cumulative SPOs referencing the agreement. Cannot exceed the amount limit of a CPA. You know, right? It's a very important point. Fine, go there. No done. So it is now approved. Now fine. So for three thousand, for four thousand, it is now approved. Fine, go there. Come on. We will now query our purchase order number two thousand one. Now fine. Go there. Go to the manager orders. I will now go for query for two thousand one. Two thousand one is the purchase order, which is referencing three thousand actually. Come on, search now. Fine, go there. So select it and then we'll now go to edit now. We'll now go to edit now. <coughs> we'll now edit it. Oh, it is two thousand two, isn't it? I'm not sure about it. I'm not going for it. No fine. I will not stop it properly. This is not the one. It's already there. No fine. Right. So since I have now gone for edit mode, I will not submit properly. No. Jimmy Jago. So a description is absolutely must. No fine. So put the appropriate description over here. No. When we are creating a change order, we are doing. We have to go for 2002 actually. Okay. Go there. So let me query the 2002 now. 2002 is not the inquiry. No fine. Click on search now. The query is now. And then it's now in incomplete status. Fine. Go there. Click on it. Well, now see what happened now. Fine, your order will now cause the total amount of release amount. Fine, this is what is message is coming now. Fine, some red color message. Now we already made it as four thousand actually. And go there, no problem at all. Fine, go there, click on actions and then go to edit now. Let us now validate the purchase order. Fine, go there, click on actions and then go to validate. This time, what happens? 
there will not be any error at all <coughs> jolly jolly right no errors come up fine okay fine sir we can submit for approval so click on submit so once when you submit for approval the 2002 will be getting approved and then that will also be reflecting on the this <coughs> thing now click on the now so we'll not go there we will not go and then click, click on it now fine sir click on it go to manage agreements and then query the 3000 agreement now so we are going to make a search now okay on it you will not find that what happens the totally this much is the release amount actually so if you click on the hyperlink on the release amount it will not show you both the pos now both the pos cannot exceed that 4000 actually will be us so 2001 is a po and then 2002 is a po this completes the pr cpa spo automation actually pr cpa spo automation If you understood this process, can you open up your mic and then say that you understood PR CPA SPO is sir, understood? The sir, the agreement amount is for any particular period or within one month. Or yes, one exactly. Year. The period is there now, and we already given the from date and to date. The agreement amount is from the from date to to date. So normally so these agreements will be made for three months or six months actually. Okay. And then agreements are basically for what? I will not go on and show you the agreement now. I will not open it up. I'm, I, if you click on the hyperlink, we are not editing it; we are only viewing it now. Fine. If you go to actions edit, then only you are editing it. And click on it now. An agreement is normally made only for the terms now. These are the ones. So we are going to discuss the supplier that you have to supply by year. This is the freight time. You only have to pay the freight, and then up to my point, it is all free actually. Fine. Like that. What are the payment terms? I will not pay you only after ninety days now, basically. So these things are agreed upon. So an agreement will be governed by the basically the terms of order. It does not have any item attached. And then it is bit valid between this date and this date. Agreements are normally valid between two dates actually. Suppose post that date we have to create another uh, new purchase agreement, right, sir? Yeah, yeah. After twenty five eight, we will be creating one more agreement. Otherwise, we will not cancel this agreement, and then we will not create a new one also. Good actions, and then here I can even cancel the document. So click on the cancel document. So I am not going to cancel it actually. Fine. I will not say test. Fine. The way you are cancelling it, frankly, I am okay now. Uh, require account is not required at all. We don't want the supplier account. Though. Communication method is by email, and then you can even send it by email. Now, fine, go there. I will not put nana dot app sixty. Fine, go there. Come on it, and then we are going to communicate to him. Fine, come on. It's not getting cancelled. So you cannot cancel or finally close the agreement because there are open purchase order lines referencing the document. That means what? The purchase orders has to be closed now. We have to receive against this now. Only after that we can cancel it because we already placed the purchase order. If I cancel it, those purchase orders will become invalid. So we have to receive against them, and then after doing, then only you can do it. I will show you during receiving process about how to cancel the three thousand. Good question. Fine. What about others? Nobody else is asking any question. Come on, ask questions. Then only what happens? I will be able to answer even more and more now. Doesn't matter. Even if it is silly or stupid, you just speak now. Right? You have to speak now. How about others? Any questions now? I will not stop sharing. If you have understood this automation now, fine. Automation, okay. That is called PR CPA SP automation. Can you put a message on the chat that uh, automation, okay? That means what you understood it. Guy three, you normally used to speak now. Fine, come on. Apurva. Hello, Aina. Can you put a message on the chat that at least you understood automation? Okay, automation is okay. Arkana is not in my brother. Aina is also not in my mind. That's it. I will now pass the record now. I am going to click on it. I will now pass the record. I will now my record. I will now stop now. 